What's going on everybody? It's your boy Neko Darius and I am playing Sky Factory 4 Project Tree I might add Well, it's about time we go ahead and get to work on making that latex processing Unit that I have been meaning to make for a while now when I say a while now I mean for about the last two episodes. I've been waiting to try to make this so it's probably about time We actually do that and I stop waiting. So what I need is four iron ingots, one iron gear, one machine case, two furnaces, as well as one redstone. That's not too hard to get because we have everything that we probably need already. I knew I was gonna need a machine case eventually. I didn't know for what, but I just found out. So got the machine case, need furnaces. Got two furnaces in the inventory. We need four iron ingots and one iron gear, which should be easy because we have all that too. And I believe that's everything we need. Boom, latex processing unit is now complete. Now we need to run some new cabling from up here across the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some extra energy cables. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab a block placer, which I might've already made in the past. Let's see here. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Made a block placer. I'm gonna grab a hopper. I'm going to grab, um, should make a new chest. So I'm gonna grab a couple more iron ingots as well as a couple more oak fences. Let me go ahead and learn this. So I need a few more um, oak fences, about 20 more and 20 more iron ingots. Hey man, don't be mad at me that you're stuck in the house on a rainy day, okay? Jeez. All right, got that made. Now this is gonna come in handy. So first and foremost, let's run some cabling. You know what? We'll run the cabling right here. No point in making it go far, right? So we got that, all right. Now we need to get water, which is very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the water. So we have an infinite water source, which you see on the wall behind me. There is a way to upgrade this beyond what it is now. So let me go ahead and just infinite water source. So we can make a compact or even a dense. I'm thinking let's go compact and let's see if we can get a bronze ingot taken care of. So let's see if we have any bronze. We do not have any bronze. So that's gonna be the first step, alloying. So we need a copper and tin. So I believe we have copper, we do. I'm gonna grab four copper and 410 all right now that we got that taken care of what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come over here and just place everything that we need in or in its position so once we do that that should be pretty simple and then we're gonna grab a hopper and we're gonna put this chest on top of the hopper we're gonna put something in it just to make sure it comes out it does all right cool problem solved that at the block placer all right so we got everything we need on that now we just need to go get the water source which will be very simple so let's go ahead and run over to the smeltery and from the smeltery we will find what we need because you know this is how it works so tin and iron is in tin melted way faster than i expected but we are running on blazing pyrothium fuel and we got molten bronze being made from the molten tin and the molten copper they're intermixing and mingling here almost done and done so we got molten bronze i'm gonna go ahead and pour that out and with the bronze ingot coming so we're gonna get a block because i decided to go ahead and just turn it into a block that way we have nine at our disposal oh yikes we do not have nine at our disposal I might have just made a big oops here. Stand by. And we've now made the bronze. Uh, I didn't have to go back and grab any extra or anything like that. <laughs> Ignore what's in the hot bar. You, you do not see 60 new copper, okay? You, you, you don't see that. that. That doesn't exist. Anyways, now that we have the, the bronze, we're going to go ahead and learn that. Take that back off the thing. Grab that. Now we got the ingots doesn't really matter 
but we got that as well all right so in order to make the um the compact we need about eight infinite water sources to make that happen the good news is is that we can do that we got seven and then number eight is now out and then we just line this around the crafting table put this there and now we have a bigger one and we're going to go ahead and learn that so we don't have to go through this process ever again all right now we got that taken care of now what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach this here and it's going to feed water into it every so often and now it's done now i just need to go grab a bunch of oak logs and wood and then we'll take care of the rest of this entire situation now the good news is is that the from what i know of the block placer actually doesn't require any power which makes it immaculate so let me go ahead and fill this up with a bunch of wood okay so <clears throat> i made a mistake and the mistake is is that i decided to make the latex processing unit which is one step ahead of what i needed i actually needed to make the tree fluid extractor so let's go ahead and take care of that so i just need six stone um one furnace one iron gear and one redstone so that's not a problem it just put us back uh, just a just a tad okay just just a tad and you know what it happens i was so excited to make it that i just jumped ahead that's all so no big deal you know nobody died over it so just create a quick tree fluid extractor throw that into the table now we have that forever and boom now we just gotta run this better so i'm glad i kept the energy cables on me oh man that's the wrong way there we go now that's the right way and all we got to do now is just reconnect the cables proper come on come on machine there hopefully now it's facing the right direction okay okay we're gonna get this we're gonna get this like by far the most annoying there we go i think we got it now yes we do okay and i just realized that it didn't need any power and i accidentally just broke my glass <clears throat> i'm just having all kinds of problems and for all my problems please hit the like and subscribe button it means that it makes it all worth it anyways all right so now that we can uh you know effectively effectuate what we need let me run this run this down and then we'll put that here get that in with some power now we need a fluid extraction cable which i'm glad that i have all this here so you know fluid extraction cable fluid cables i always take out more than i need because i mean you guys just saw it if i don't there's a problem so let's just run it this way boom and now we can put our compact infinite water source on it it will fill up and now it's going to start processing this and start making the tiny dry rubber all right so we just had the processes backwards that is all is not a problem um the end of the world didn't just happen because of that and i think we did pretty well with that all right so now that we've got that taken care of let me just go ahead and rearrange my inventory here we're gonna wait to get some latex and stuff like that so we're gonna have to get some tiny dry rubbers um and it doesn't have any re or doesn't have any emc value oh my gosh so because it doesn't have an emc value we actually do have to wait on this one and that's fine by me but it's also like one of those man it'd be nice if i didn't have to wait type of things you know you guys ever had that feeling let me know I wonder if I could put two of those down there. You know, I'm not even going to complain. 
we've already got 23 dry rubber and that's probably a little bit more than what I was expecting Put that back so now that we have the tiny dry rubber we now need to turn that into a different form of rubber so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a furnace don't don't mind me guys it's been it's been a long time okay I, I messed up twice okay got the furnace got the block of coal next to it and we're gonna pop that there and then we're gonna grab coal because you know coal is the only thing you ever need all right so grab the tiny dry rubber something tells me I'm doing this wrong all right we got two dry rubbers all right now if I throw that into the furnace, it will turn into what we need it to turn into, which will be plastic. Now plastic has an EMC value. We did all that to get to plastic, which means now we can move forward in life, but I'm still gonna leave the tree fluid extractors and all that other stuff going. Cause I'll never know when I need all the, that tiny dry rubber. And just because I can like make infinite plastic based on however much, you know, EMC I have, that doesn't mean I want to completely. So let's go ahead and grab our handy dandy clipboard and make a check mark on latex processing unit. And we made the latex too. Got some other plans on there that you guys can definitely see. I've been plotting. For example, I want to make, and this is going to sound mean, but there's a mob imprisonment tool that kind of goes to the very next thing I want to make and I just need a gas tier, which is very easy to make for me right now because all I needed was two hellish matter, some sugar and a spider eye. Well, guess what's been running ever since the last episode? You guessed it. We got our hellish matter. Let me grab two. And I, I'm gonna feel kinda bad for uh, what I'm about to do, I will, but you know, there is nothing gained without it. So if you guys have been a fan of Ted, I'm sorry, but Ted will have to go away. I'm sorry to everybody that likes Ted. Um, so I, I do apologize. Ted has been great. He's been great walking around my base, you know, perming at me and, you know, things like that. But um, I, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to just grab Ted here and yoink. We put him in the mob imprisonment tool. So now that he's in there, that's very simple. We're gonna try to finish this off today with one more thing, um, which is a villager trade exchanger. So all I need is two emeralds, um, four plastics, a machine case, gold ingot, and a golden gear. Now that is something that we don't have yet, so shouldn't be too hard to make considering that the entire recipe was do this and you've got yourself a gold gear. And because I never want to have to make it again, there we go. All right. And now we need two emeralds, four plastic. So plastic. I am just messing up all over today. Some plastic, some emeralds, which we are so grateful to have nowadays. A machine case. And I believe that's everything we'll need. All right, villager trade exchanger. Never want to have to make this again. EMC'd it. All right. Um, does this require power? It does. Okay. Well, that's simple. We'll just pop this down right here. Oops. Pop. Villager trade exchanger is there. And grab the mob imprisonment tool. And there you go. 
Well, anyways, if you liked today's video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you definitely come and tune in for the next one. We're not doing too much yet. Um, there's a reason why. I've got some plans. I'm also trying to get ready for what will be a battle of the ages with my uh, with my friends. We're going to be battling in the um, arena that Glitch has made. You can definitely check out his channel, by the way, where he's got the arena at. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you definitely tune in for the next one and tell your friends. I'll see you guys next time here on the channel. Make sure everybody's safe and having a great and wonderful day. I'll see you guys around. Be easy, everybody.